in this video, I'm gonna be answering some more frequently asked questions regarding the Amazon affiliate website that we set up a little while ago in one of my previous tutorial videos. I don't know if you remember it, I set up a uh, website promoting zombie related products and it sent people off to Amazon to complete their purchase. Anyway, a lot of people have made uh, a website similar to that and obviously from that we've got lots of questions to answer. So I'm gonna be answering them today in this video, including uh, the ever so popular question, how do I get approved to become an Amazon affiliate? So uh, let's get started. Hello, it's Alex here from wpeagle.com. Now in this video, I'm gonna be answering lots of questions regarding uh, setting up an Amazon affiliate website, and they all relate back to um, the original tutorial video, which you'll find on my channel. I'll add links and everything to the description and whatever. Uh, and you'll also find it as part of this playlist, uh, of which this video is a part of. And you'll find the tutorial videos and other videos relating to uh, setting up that website and promoting it. But anyway, yeah, today there's a lot of questions to answer. What I'll do is I will uh, list the questions in the uh, description below uh, with some timings so that you can quickly look and see if there's something that, that you need to kind of find out and then you can just jump straight to the timings rather than having to watch the entire video if you don't want to. But of course, I would love you to stay for the duration of this video. And talking about duration, let's keep this video as short as I can and get started with some questions. One of the most popular questions I've been getting is regarding signing up to become an Amazon associate because a number of people have been kind of rejected after they've completed their application process. And the one thing I will say regarding that is if you just show them a site which has got products on, you're not gonna get approved. Uh, you need to add some more value. So you need to add some content, I'm talking about blog posts and videos or whatever else you can do to kind of add value to that content. Uh, some people add reviews, some people make lists of you know top 10 products, all that sort of stuff. Um, so you need to be able to show Amazon that. And one way to do that is obviously to create a little blog site and um, show them that before going off and creating your e-commerce type store. Another question I'm beginning regarding signing up for Amazon is um, if you're promoting in multiple countries. So for example, if you wanna um, promote to uh, the UK and the US, and obviously sell products via amazon.co.uk and amazon.com, you need to be registered as an associate on both of those sites. So that involves you know, filling in two application forms, one on the .co.uk, one on the .com, and getting approved by both of them. Once you've done that, you'll then be able to log into the respective sites and get the tracking IDs uh, for each of those. You can then copy and paste these into WooZone under the, you know, the right category thing. Uh, I'll put it up on the screen now so you can see how that works. You may have noticed that in my original tutorial video, I didn't do that. I put the same ID in all of the fields. Uh, this won't work. You need to have different ones for each country. So, uh, well, hey-ho, live and learn. <laughs> Another question that I was asked a few times um, was regarding products being deleted um, overnight. So, you know, you fill up your Amazon affiliate website using WooZone, a load of products, and then you come look at it the next day and all the products would have been removed and put in the trash can. Um, obviously a little bit annoying. And I looked into this and the reason for this is down to incorrect Amazon AWS keys. So you either left the default ones in uh, that basically are in the, the settings when you install WooZone or there's a kind of copy and pasting mistake that you've made when you put your own ones in. So if you're getting the issue of um, products being deleted, please double check the keys and make sure that they're your own because it's probably uh, down to the fact that you're using the default ones that are there when you install WooZone. Some people have asked um, about the images on the kingdom theme uh, in terms of the product images that are imported when you do your Amazon import and how they sometimes get cropped and maybe don't fit correctly. So um, let's get on the computer and I will show you how you can adjust the sizes of your images to make sure that they fit really nicely uh, on the theme. So let's have a look at that. Okay, so I'm over at uh, zombiemerk.com, which is my zombie website. And if you look at some of these images, um, you'll see that they are a little bit cropped. I'm not worried about it too much, um, really. But some people that have imported different styles of products have noticed that it's kind of ruining them a bit. So what we need to do is check our settings uh, in terms of the image sizes. And to do that, you need to go into the dashboard. And then into WooCommerce and settings. And then we go to products. Display. It's hidden away nicely. And here we are, here's our image sizes. And um, I've actually got this article open here 
in a separate tab, which is on support.aa-team.com, which I would recommend that you check out if you do have a problem, because there is a knowledge base on here and it's got articles uh, answering you know common questions and problems. Um, but here we can see these are the image sizes that we actually need. Um, so let's put these in now. So the first one is 255 by 5. 400. Now these only really apply to the kingdom theme. So if you're using a different theme, uh, check with whoever the theme is uh, made by, and uh, they should have the correct images, uh, image sizes for you. So 320 by 652. That's right. Turn off the hard crop. 270 by 400 for the last one. So that's fine. Now if you make any changes. Um, to these sizes, you do need to regenerate your thumbnails, and you're going to need a plugin to do that. Uh, there's a link here to that plugin. I've got it already installed. I think it gets installed by default um, a lot of the time. And then I'm just going to click regenerate all thumbnails, and it will go through all the images, of which there are quite a few, and it will uh, resize them. And then hopefully all our images um, will look the right shape and size. So I'll let this run, and then we'll have a look and see what's happened. Okay, it's taken a little while, but um, I can already see that um, the images on the here, on these products at least, have resized, and you can see that um, they all fit really nicely. They're not being cut off or anything like that. So uh, yeah, we're all done. Obviously, just let it keep running. Uh, this is taking ages, so I, I just got impatient. I thought, oh well, we can see that it's working. It's fine. Let's leave it running and uh, let's answer some more questions. Another question I've been getting is regarding the checkout process where people have been adding products to their cart and then going to check out and not being redirected off to Amazon. This is usually caused by your WooCommerce pages not being uh, configured correctly. So uh, let's have a look on the computer again and I will uh, take you through what you need to check to get that working. Let's go. Okay, so if you're having problems with your checkout, um, and when I say problems, what that basically happens is that you add um, products to your cart. I'll just go through it now. So, um, you know, you come in here. Oh, I can't do that. It hasn't got any options. So, oh, well, that one, never mind. Let's have a look at this one. As long as that happens, that will be fixed in the next sync, I hope. So, here we go. Uh, let's add this to a, my cart. And then when you go to check out, and my site works, well, I think it works, yeah. And uh, basically, you get redirected off to Amazon. All's well, there's a the t shirt. Now, some people have been getting the problem where they don't get redirected, it kind of gets stuck on the website, and um, you get maybe something that looks like this. So, what you need to do is check that you've uh, got your WooCommerce pages set up correctly. So, what I mean by that is if you go into your dashboard, you need um, two uh, very important pages. So, if we go into pages and Generally, these are created when you install WooCommerce. There's a setup wizard, which I go through in, in the video. Uh, but for whatever reason, if you missed that and uh, whatever, skipped it, missed it, uh, then the pages obviously aren't gonna be created and things aren't gonna work properly. So yeah, the two pages that you need um, are checkout and cart. And if you haven't got these, then you need to create them. So you'd go up to the top, go add new and create one called checkout and create one called cart. And then what you need to do is add a short code to each of these pages. So for cart, you need to add this, which is uh, square brackets WooCommerce underscore cart, and then click update. And for the checkout, you need to have uh, very similar square brackets WooCommerce underscore checkout, and obviously then click update. And then the final step is you need to go into WooCommerce and settings. And by the way, you can find these short codes on the WooCommerce website. Just do a search on Google for WooCommerce page short codes and you'll find all the info about it. But yeah, anyway, the final step is you need to come into uh, WooCommerce settings and then go to checkout. And you need to scroll down and then you actually need to set the pages here. It'll probably be uh, on yours if you haven't got it set up. It will say select a page and then you just simply uh, select obviously the respective page. So you select cart for cart page and checkout for checkout page. Click save changes and then um, hopefully your checkout should start working. If it doesn't, you may need to go back into WooZone and uh, all you need to do is just save your settings. So just go into anywhere in here like Amazon config and uh, click save the settings and you should be good to go. 
Okay, the final question I'm gonna to answer today is regarding the XML sitemap. Now we set up an XML sitemap in the SEO video as part of this playlist, um, where we install Yoast SEO, create a sitemap and submit it to Google. And a number of people have said that they create their sitemap and then they click to check it out and they're getting a 404 page not found error. So this is probably down to your permalinks not being set correctly. So again, let's get on the computer and I'll just take you through how you need to double check uh, your permalinks and make sure that they are all okay. So let's have a look. Okay, so for those of you who've been getting 404 errors uh, when you try and check out your Yoast XML sitemap, um, because you're obviously wanting to upload it to Google, uh, this is usually caused by a problem with your permalinks. Um, so if you need to, uh, you need to go into uh, the dashboard, go down to settings and permalinks, and you need to just double check that it matches what I've got here. So under custom structure, uh, I've got a slash, and then a percentage sign, then the word category, then a percentage sign, then a slash, then a percentage sign, then the word post name, and a percentage sign, and then a slash. Uh, easy as that really, so uh, yeah, hopefully you can see it there. And then you need to scroll down to the bottom and click save changes, and hopefully your XML sitemap will appear when you go into SEO. XML sitemaps and then you just got to click this button and you should get something that looks like this and then you're good to obviously upload to Google. Okay so that concludes today's video I hope you found it useful and I hope that I've been able to answer um, one of your questions and help you fix one of your problems if not then please do leave a question in the comments below this video or via Twitter or send me an email. Anyway, it's fine and I'll do my best obviously to help you out. If you like uh, what I'm doing, please click the like button below on this video and subscribe for more videos. And until next time, I will see you later. Bye for now.